we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're okay. If you're new around here, hi my name's Liv. I'm a 26 year old first time mum that's battling depression. I've got a three year old, well almost three year old, Arlo, who is just the most beautiful, handsome, gorgeous, kind little boy ever. We have been having a few issues with him and I'm actually speaking to the health visitor about his behaviour issues um, this week. So I'm going to give you all an update. I'm actually filming this outro at the end of the video because it's just been so manic. Like we've had the bank holiday that's just thrown me off. So I've just like popped on the camera as and when I can, giving you updates on things like our house situation because we're going to be buying our first family home soon, which I'm so excited about. I definitely feel at the minute that there is change in the air. There is a lot that's about to change. You know when you just feel like that? You just feel like everything's been very stagnant, very same-ish for such a long time, and then everything changes at once. I feel like that is what's happening at the minute. But I'm so grateful to be on this journey with my beautiful little boy and my boyfriend and just see where the year takes us, to be honest. Little bit of an update on my mental health. Things are going really well at the minute. I've been put back on my medication because I relapsed and they're starting to kick in so much more now. I'm feeling so much more just like at an equilibrium with things. So I'm able to just, I feel like I'm able to get on with everyday life. I'm able to just do the things that most people can do, which is just a game changer. Like it's just so, so much better. And I just feel quite sad in a way, like just the way that for so long I struggled, for so long I battled to try and get through each day and like at the same time I'm trying to film these videos, I'm trying to like stay consistent and like update everyone on Instagram and YouTube and it's been such a battle to do that when most days I've not even wanted to get out of bed but at the same time I thought it was really important to like document the whole process because there's so many people that are going out like that are out there that are going through the same thing so um i just hope sharing my mental health journey has helped someone feel a bit less alone anyway lots to update you on in this vlog i'll kick start the vlog now and i hope you're all having a nice week show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds I've had one of those weeks that has just been a complete write-off. We've had two hour-ish meltdowns every single day with Arlo. And recording this voiceover now, I can tell you that I feel absolutely broken and deflated. Of course, I love him so much, that goes without saying. It's just incredibly challenging when you're trying to regulate your own mental health, then you're basically a punch bag and being screamed at all the time. But what's even more upsetting for me is knowing that as bad as I feel dealing with it, he's going through so much worse and it gets to the point where he's almost making himself sick he's so inconsolable so knowing how to deal with it is very hard but at the same time I feel relieved and validated in a way from our talk with the health visitor this week I'll update you all in a minute on exactly what was said but if you're going through the same with your little one I'm right there with you I know how hard and testing it can be but look at what an amazing job you are doing staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was there Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly is about to explode and fall off i've just been screamed at for the last hour and a half he was just so overtired because last night he <laughs> just didn't sleep like he went to bed like the rookie mistake of he fell asleep at like half past six on our bed and then when we tried to move him when we went to bed he woke up and that was it and like he was just a nightmare all night me and mikey already feel ill 
Um, I've got obviously the illness from the tablets and then I've also got some sort of flu cold thing on top of this. <coughs> so honestly, my, I literally feel like I've got a migraine all around my head and when he's been screaming, it's just been like pounding, pounding inside my head. I think he's gone to sleep now. He's on the floor in his room, just literally screamed himself to sleep. Um, and I've just started running a bath to try and de-stress but send in solidarity if you're going through the same, especially when you're ill, because it's just relentless. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy a bath and I'm gonna to have to wake him up in like an hour because I don't want to go through the same thing as last night where he didn't go to sleep because I just need my sleep, I'm so tired. Moving on to the next day now, something I've had to do every single day to save my sanity this week is trying to get out of the house. We manage most days, but today it started to rain just as we were going to the park. So I thought, you know what, why not bring the park to us? So I brought his slide inside so he could clean it as like a little activity. Then he enjoyed playing on it for ages, so that was a success. But then we had our next meltdown of the day. Honestly, the smallest things set him off. I don't have any tips for you because I'm really, really struggling myself. But speaking to a lot of you on Instagram, you've said the main thing to do is try and like find ways to regulate your own emotion and keep calm. I'm usually pretty good at doing this, but later in the week, I will admit I cracked. I just sat there crying with him and I feel like I don't know how to cope with the way he's been. Hello my lovelies, I hope you're okay. This is the first chance I've been able to pop on and speak to you because it's just been so blooming manic the last few days. But I've just gone to Arlo's three year development review. I've just dropped him off at nursery now and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. There are some co some concerns there with his behaviour um, and she did even see like when we were there, he had a bit of a meltdown. Um, and I sort of explained different things like the haircuts, the clothes, like all of that sort of thing. And she said that we're going to start stages now to do a questionnaire basically to start with, have another checkup and then see the next steps on whether there is something there with him. When speaking to her about all the different signs and things, she said to me that it's potentially part of two streams it could be ADHD stream it could be autism stream like this sort of autism is when you know people in their like 20s and stuff get diagnosed because they can just sort of get on with life and not have uh, like their autism get in the way of normal life functioning so it could be that um but if it is that then we will walk hand in hand together and get through it and work out a way forward um, but then again, like it could just be typical toddler behavior. So we're just going to work out what the situation is at the minute. She's sending me a questionnaire and I'm going to fill that out to start with. We're going to have another checkup in a couple of weeks. She said to me as well, it may be worth putting in forward for the ADHD diagnosis because there's a two year waiting list. So she said, potentially, if it is that, let's get him on the waiting list as soon as possible. So when he's at school age, we can just sort of get him diagnosed quickly so it's not going to affect his school mm. but we don't know at the minute she said it could be autism adhd or something he grows out of so we're just going to look at this further we're aware of it um and either way i'm just so proud of him and like he's just doing so well and i just love him so much honestly it just makes me a little bit sad to think he's struggling inside like with things um but whatever it is like like I said we'll get through it um I'm gonna go inside now have a coffee because I need it I've just dropped him off at nursery as well I'm gonna give my mum a call as well but it's just it's very overwhelming I think as well because I know if it is that I just know the road that people have to go down um so yeah but anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit.
Just getting Arlo dressed and we are actually going on the train today. Aren't we Arlo, going on the train? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Because we are a one car household um, and Mikey's got the car today, he's gone to work. So we need to go to the shopping centre today to get Daddy a birthday present. Are you excited? Are you excited? He's had a rough morning, bless him. He's been screaming probably for about an hour and a half because he wants a D-I-G-G-E-R. I'm not gonna say the word and spark him off again, but he's been like ripping all his clothes off, chucking everything like, in hysterics. What's wrong, baby? Do you want me to get it for you? Okay, I get it, I get it. Is it up? Um, yeah, he's just had a bit of a rough morning. So I thought, you know what, let's get out of the house. What have you got on your trousers already? Let's get out. Get out of the house. Get out of the house and go on a choo choo. Yeah? Are you gonna get out of the house? Are you yeah, are you gonna hold mummy's hand on the get choo -choo? Out the house. Get out of the house. You're going on choo choo train. Yeah? Are you gonna hold my hand? Man, You've got big wheels on your monster truck. I don't touch the wheels. Oh, I don't touch the wheels. Yeah, Sorry. Mommy. Are you feeling better now? You feeling happy? Hello. You, yeah. You feel happy now. Oh, I'm glad you feel happy. Right, I'm gonna get him finished getting him ready, and then we're gonna. Try and catch the bus to the train, then go on the train to the shopping centre, walk half an hour to the shopping centre, go get something to eat, get daddy birthday presents. And it's fast. So I'll catch you when we leave. Today ended up being another write off. We got to the train station and the trains were on strike, so we ended up going to a soft plate in our town, which to be honest did the trick. It's just about getting out of the house when you're having days like this. But I just wanted to come on and give you a quick update of our house situation. I feel like this vlog has been very chaotic and like too chaotic to talk much. I do usually like to give tips and ideas in my vlogs, but I'm just on survival mode this week and I hope that's okay. We found a house that's perfect, just an hour away as well, a hundred thousand pounds less than a house in our area, and it's still close to family, so we're inquiring about that to see if we would pass the affordability test. It's a perfect three bedroom house, like a large three bed as well. I'm really trying not to get my hopes up, but keep all your fingers and toes crossed for us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. There's a lot going on for us at the minute in terms of Arlo and his diagnosis. You okay, babe? And his send journey. Obviously a lot going on with my mental health, a lot going on with potentially moving to a different town, buying a house. Just a lot, a lot to process, a lot to function, but you know what, I'm excited. I'm scared, but I'm excited for what's to come. Um, and I just wanna thank you all for your support so much. It means the world to me, and I hope you're having a nice week. As always, make sure that you tap that like button if you wouldn't mind, and subscribe if you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you. And I'll see you guys so soon. I post every Thursday and Sunday on my channel, like a cleaning video and then a mum vlog. So I would love to have you and I will see you in the next one.